Hey there, Jeffrey here from Sephora Pro, and you guys have asked over and over again in the comment sections below, how do I make my makeup last longer? What's the difference between priming and setting? How do I find the right one for me? So I wanted to take some time out of my day to talk to you about all the different primer options that we have in store and how to set your makeup to prolong the wear. Now, when you're shopping for a primer in store, it's really important to address the skin concern first. So find your number one concern and start from there. Then we'll talk a little bit about how to set your makeup Makeup. And then lastly, we'll talk about a cult classic product that I'm sure you guys have heard of, so stay tuned for that. So to start off with, what primers are really designed to do is to give flex and give to the skin underneath the um, foundation that you're using. So really the goal of the primer is to allow the skin to move freely without disturbing the surface layer. There are two main different categories as far as ingredients when it comes to primers. Generally, you have silicone-based primers and silicone-free based primers. Silicone primers, the way they work is they kind of create almost like a, a sheer layer of ball bearings on the skin so that when the foundation is moving around or you're moving your face, that the, the foundation kind of slides and gives with the skin. Now, silicone-free base primers are really great for kind of plumping up skin texture, giving you a smooth canvas, and we're almost giving you like a, a grip to the skin. So when the foundation goes on, it has something to kind of stick and adhere to. So one of the most classic primers that we carry in Sephora definitely has to be Smashbox Photo Finish. I know you've heard of it. Um, and Smashbox kind of is an authority on primers. Now their primers are generally silicone based. So what we talk about again is that it gives almost like a flex and movement to the skin. The molecular structure of silicone is actually round. So like I mentioned before, imagine thousands of ball bearings on the face that give the skin movement. So as your skin is moving underneath the foundation, the foundation on the surface is not disturbed. Now this one is super lightweight. Um, it's a clear formula, which is nice, so it's really great for all skin tones and all skin types. Um, and another really cool thing about it is that it's going to help to smooth out texture and pore size in the skin. Now, it's important to remember that a pea size is all you need. If you over apply this product, you may experiencing a little bit of, or you may experience a little bit of peeling or balling, and that's just an excess buildup of product on the skin. So if you notice that, just remember the next time you use it, use a lot less. But typically this, the head of a pin or a pea size is all you need for the full face. A newer category that we're seeing, um, and that's the silicone free category. So this one is from Makeup Forever. I love this product. It's called Step One Equalizer. Now silicone free primers, again, really help to smooth out skin texture by plumping up the skin with hydration and giving the skin a really great grip underneath the foundation. So when you put your foundation on, it almost sticks and adheres, almost like Velcro to the skin. Now, the, step, the equalizers are really awesome. There's a lot of options within the equalizer category from Makeup Forever, which is really cool. They, I think they have up to like eight or nine different ones, and all of them have a different function. Um, this one that I have here is the Nourishing Primer. So this one is really great for skin that, you know, is maybe lackluster or needs a little bit of a glow. So you'll see when I smooth it onto the skin, it really helps with inflammation, kind of calms down and soothes the skin. Really great for someone who maybe has like um, eczema or rosacea that the skin is really inflamed. This will help to give the skin that nourishment and calm it and soothe it down. So I know there are a ton of oily girls out there that really rely on primer to help mattify and to keep the shine down throughout the day. Now I have a personal go-to when it comes to mattifying um, primers. I'm loving the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. Now this one is up to eight hours shine free, and that's unheard of in the industry. So definitely go and check this one out. Um, I actually have a really fun demo that I'd love to show you about just how well this product works. So pretend that your skin is oily. I'm gonna be using a little bit of oil here and taking one or two drops on the skin. Oh my God, I'm so greasy, I'm super shiny, I can't help get rid of that shine throughout the day, it's so gross, what do I do? Take a small pea-sized amount again, all over the skin, really work it in, 
and you get an instant mattified but hydrated finish, which is really awesome. So definitely, if you're on the oilier side and you're looking for something to help your makeup last and prevent shine, be sure to check out the Ever Matte Poreless Primer from Becca. Oh, added tip for this one, pro tip, is you can actually take a little bit on the tips of your fingers and press and refresh shine throughout the day on top of the makeup. So it's not just before you apply, it can also work after, which is really awesome. Keep this one in your purse. We actually smell, sell it in a travel size that's perfect for um, your clutch or whatever you're carrying with you for the evening. So there's also a small category of primers out there that actually offer a little bit of coverage as well. Um, for example, the Professional from Benefit is awesome because it has a slight tint to it, which will help to neutralize any discoloration in the skin and give you almost like a easy yoga coverage. Like I just wanna throw it on, go to the grocery store, do some shopping. Um, but what's really great about the Professional is that it also really does help minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines, which is really cool. So again, a pea size amount is all you need and you can massage that into the skin. Now you see that it has a little bit of color or tint to it. So when you apply that to the skin, it's just gonna even out any discoloration and smooth out transitions of color for you, which is really, really nice. Um, this one also does help to mattify and control shine throughout the day. So be sure to check that one out from Benefit. This is another cult classic. Actually, the Professional has a full range of products. So if you're somebody who's super concerned about pore size, be sure to check that one out. So I have to tell you that in my makeup style, I have a signature way of I, uh, that I love to do skin. And, I, and, you know, I'm all about the glow. And what's really cool is that there's actually a primer category that actually contains kind of like light reflecting particles that give the skin a really beautiful radiance. Um, a go-to for me for years has definitely been the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. This is a must-have. I wear it myself almost every day because I really like that kind of, you know, really super hydrated, lit from within sort of feel. And what's cool about using a luminizer in your primer is that when you're laying your foundation on top of it, Think of your foundation almost as a layer of skin. So when you put the glow primer from underneath, it literally looks like the radiance is coming from inside the skin and working its way out, which is really cool. This one is really beautiful soft focus pearl finish. It comes in a couple different shades, but this is the original radiance. And if you notice, it just has a really great light reflective property to it. So it's going to give the skin a really beautiful radiance, increase shine, and also whenever you're putting light reflective particles on the skin, you're diffusing imperfections in photos. So think of it like a filter in a tube, which is really awesome. And whenever you're priming, it's always a good idea to kind of start in the center of the face and working its way out. Because typically throughout the day, that's where we notice that our makeup generally starts to deteriorate first. But if you notice that it leaves around the perimeter, just start wherever you have the greatest concern. So if your makeup is coming off throughout the day, just start there and blend outwards. I would love to talk about a hybrid product. So we're finding that setting sprays are really starting to hit the market. Now setting sprays are great because they increase longevity longevity in the makeup. It doesn't disturb the finish of the makeup. So you're not applying anything directly to the face with your hands or a brush. Everything is just misted on the face. Um, there's a really cool product from Smashbox, again, one of the authorities on primer. And this one's called Photo Finish Primer Water. Now, um, I carry this one with me in my kit because I really feel like it's great for hydrating the skin and plumping up texture. And then if I don't ever, if I'm using like a really lightweight coverage, I don't necessarily want a lot of texture on the skin. This one's a great one to grab. Um, it's a super fine mist that you can spray before and after your makeup. So with setting sprays, it might be a good idea um, to try sandwiching the product. Um, and basically all that means is applying a thin layer before your makeup application and then spritzing after to kind of lock it into place. So it's doing sort of almost a double duty effect. You can use this before and after makeup. It's also really nice to keep in your makeup bag if you want like a light ref a refresher throughout the day, it kind of boosts hydration, gives you a glow again, um, and you can use it to kind of refresh or remove or emulsify the makeup, which is really nice. 
another cult classic product that a lot of people are loving is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Sprays. Now these are really awesome because you're getting an array of products for different skin types. This is the original, the All Nighter Makeup Spray, and this is gonna lock on your makeup for up to 16 hours, it says. This will ensure that your makeup is not gonna fade before you do. So if you know that you're gonna be going all night, this is the one to grab. Now, I told you we were gonna talk about a cult classic product. This product is a bit of a phenomenon because earlier this year, a very popular blogger mentioned it on one of her YouTube videos and this product blew up. I'm pretty sure it broke Sephora.com, so you definitely have to check this one out. It is a game changer. Now, honestly, it's a product that I think makeup artists have been using for years and years and years, but, you know, there's always those little sleeper products that creep up and remind us, remind us that, you know, classic is always a good thing. So you all know about this product. You know what I'm talking about. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is a must have and you know me i'm all about seeing is believing so let me show you it just why you need it so pretend that this red lipstick is your foundation i know i know humor me it's not really a foundation but it's a really great demo so what i'm going to do is take a stripe of the foundation on my skin i'm going to take a little bit of the setting powder on a puff it's always a good idea to pat some of it off into the lid as well. Really make sure that when you're putting the powder into the puff that you're working it into the puff so you're not getting too much. You're gonna roll it and press it on the skin. You can wipe away any extra as if you were baking. So now you can see this is the foundation without and this is the foundation with primer or with powder. I'm gonna take my finger that's your foundation without, that's your foundation with the powder. So you can see that this powder is really gonna lock your foundation into place and keep it from going anywhere. So for in these hot summer months when everybody's nice and you know glistening and dewy, this is gonna keep your shine down and keep your makeup locked in place where it needs to be. So like I said before, there are a lot of options when it comes to priming and setting your makeup. Um, we have a couple videos um, with some really great tips and tricks on how to increase the longevity of your makeup and make it last all day. But I did wanna go through and talk about some of the nuances between the different primers that we offer and you can find the right product suggestion for you based on your skin concern and type. So whenever you're shopping in store, make sure that you're addressing the concern first and that will really help you to find the perfect one. So thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to Sephora's YouTube channel for lots of other product recommendations and we can help you navigate the product in store. See you then, bye.